Hey guys, it's RJ with The Variant, and we are here live again for, not live, Memorex? I don't know. We're here again for uh, Action Figure Fridays. This is our second episode for season five. So uh, if you haven't checked out our show, there's four whole seasons for you guys to sit there and watch. Um, and uh, and I'll put thumbs down on Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, please don't. <laughs> um, but you can click subscribe and you know check it out. Um, anyway, we are doing our part two of our special tribute to McFarlane Toys. If you guys didn't check us out last week, we did a super cool set of Raw 10 figures, which are like these monster animal cyborg mashups that are uh, just these big chunky boy figures and uh, super cool. Um, the good people at McFarland Toys uh, also sent us something uh, that I love because, you know, I grew up on this. I don't know if you were a huge fan or not, but Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like, uh, they sent us some cool Mortal Kombat figures. Um, it's, it's, again, these are a little different than what we normally do on this show. Normally we're just like, oh, Marvel and Star Wars and blah, blah, blah. But, uh, but yeah, they sent us some super cool Mortal Kombat figures. And uh, so we're going to check those out. Uh, Miss Charlie Rocket is with me as always, uh, my co-host and partner in crime. And uh, would you like to take it away? Yes. yes. So Mortal Kombat actually was... One of my first video games. Oh, was it? Okay. Ever. I yeah. didn't know if you were like if you were a Mortal Kombat person or if you were like Street Fighter person. Oh no, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. But <laughs> by far. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My dad, he actually got that first black and white Game Boy, and he had Mortal Kombat with it. It was his only game he had with it. Nice. <laughs> so I was a big fan. I was a huge fan. He still has that, by the way. So. Super cool. Oh, so I have Katana here. One of my faves. Of course, you know I always have to open the ladies. The ladies. Represent. Oh, yeah. the ladies. I love them. Um, and Katana is amazing. One of my favorites. Um, Jade is probably my favorite. And I don't know. There's a lot of the male characters that I like a lot. Uh, like Scorpion people like that but Katana is amazing I love her fans Bam. so let's see here she's got her fan cool it fits in her hand like this nice her arm moves from the shoulder in two places I believe yeah two places on the shoulder it rotates and it moves up and down then it also moves at the elbow and at the wrist the wrist oh, rotates. You know what? If you look on the back of the box, it actually tells you how many points of articulation oh, are on here. Oh, snap. 22. 22 moving. 22 moving parts. That's crazy. That's awesome. Um, yeah. That's really great. Ooh, and she's got rock out action. Yes! That's my favorite. I love it. I love it when the ladies have it because there's not many action figures where the ladies can rock out a little bit, okay? Yes. <laughs> um, also, her head moves, of course. And her waist moves in, I think, two places because it's right at the top for rock out action and then right at the waist. And then each leg has four different points. Wow. It's at the hip, the knee, the ankle, and the toe. Magic. So nice. But it's also not you know, like floppy. I know a lot of times when there's a lot of points of articulation and they're like too easy to move yeah. and they just fall. And they just flop um, everywhere. But they're not. They just stay in place wherever you put them. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen toe. Like yeah. the old Marvel Toy Biz figures used to have that, but it or wasn't. Straight up. It definitely wasn't like that. Like it was yeah, always. It's serious. Um, and it was always on like the, the figures that had bigger feet. So like, you know, your juggernaut would have that or right. your uh, Hulk figure would have that. Yeah, I like it though. She has her open fan, a closed fan, okay. and a size. Is this a size? Uh, this that is, is a size. 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 I don't know if that's the right. Okay. Usually they come with two, or usually they have two A size is like a big 
that's like flow. the thing. Yeah, that's like some a people Rebirth call it thing. a Kaiser blade. Yeah, we we call it a sling blade. I know things. <laughs> I know a sling blade. Sling that's blade. right. Mm -hmm. Um, I love this paint job. It is very well done. Her face, makeup, everything looks great. Um, she has those eyebrows done. All right, girl, get into it. Uh, <laughs> I like that her hairband and parts of her costume are like a metallic blue whereas the other ones are a matte blue and black but it's very detailed and the heels look amazing all of the armor looks great um yeah I really like it uh you can see it's like a corset and like armor and other pieces like as a cosplayer I appreciate this <laughs> It's literally showing me every piece of her costume. Yeah, like everything you need to make that costume <laughs> is, is right there. Right. You just go buy the figure. And of course, like I, I would like to applaud them because they always give a great donk, a great a great booty out yeah. there. So congratulations. And these I will point that out, these are seven inch figures. So they're not yeah. gonna they're not gonna be in scale with your uh, Marvel Legends or your Star Wars figures or whatever, so you can't really have a Mortal Kombat Marvel crossover, right? Um, because Mortal Kombat would clearly They'll be dominate. Giants. Yeah, yeah they'll they just be giant. I mean, they're only like a foot bigger. <laughs> I don't know. She looks amazing, though. I love it. Cool. Oh, and she has a little stand. I'm gonna go with this one next. So, uh, if you played the new Mortal Kombat game, you would know that there is, uh, you know, downloadable content that they have now. In every game ever. Yes, always. Um, I'm not going to take up the stand right now. Um, but uh, the the one for the new Mortal Kombat game is a McFarlane Toys classic. It's Spawn. Like that's super cool. Uh, this one is rubber banded in. Why, why do I keep getting the ones that we're missing the, the little things on? <laughs> Magic. Yeah. I uh, can't get that. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Uh, look, he's got it on his leg, too. Like, why do I keep getting these? <laughs> Alright, we're just going to yank him out. I think it's just like a tradition now. Yeah. Like, you always get the ones that are still stuck in there. And, the cape, and then we just yank them out. The cape is through the back of the package, so of course we're going to fight with that. Uh, there we go. Love a good cape, but yeah. they are always so difficult. Alright, alright. So, we've got Spawn. Now this, this, I mean, it's Spawn. It kind of really reminds me of movie Spawn. Yeah. Like the movie Spawn figures that were out in the 90s. Like, it's definitely got that style. Um, but it's video game Spawn. So it's definitely um, not, you know, comic version. It's But it's classic Spawn. It's, he's got some chains. He's got some spikes. He's got a big red cape. Uh, you know, he's got those green eyes. Uh, and and they they really make the paint jobs on these pop when they go with those yeah. special colors. Like I, I know we were looking at that shark last week, and uh, that paint job that blue just popped. Yeah. Um, that green eyes on that guy just kind of pops. Um, he definitely has a lot of points of articulation. He also has uh, the little Torch. foot thing that Katana has. Um, He's got, you know, like wrists, arms, legs, head. It's all kind of standard. Um, the legs on these, the, the leg joints are definitely different. Yeah. Than like the, the figures we're used to dealing with. These are not just like a ball and socket or whatever. Like there's like some all kinds of like, I don't know if you can see that, but like there's like all kinds of like articulation, <laughs> right? <laughs> In right. Spawn's crotchal region, uh, <laughs> but uh, this one is actually uh, the variant, um, and and I believe it's the variant because he comes with an axe. So like obviously in Mortal Kombat, there's like going to be a finishing move, and in one he's going to be you know 
with this axe, and the other one he's going to be with whatever that one is. So uh, we will definitely compare these two spawn figures and see if there's any other differences. But like that green looks like Ooh, it's glowing. Wow. Yeah, it does. Like I mean, it literally looks like it's glowing on that axe. So. Um, that's wild. That tiny detail like adds so much. Yeah, just that little bit of green paint, and it just it just looks super cool. Yeah. Um, again, these are super detailed figures. McFarlane is known uh, worldwide for being like the innovator of um, of super detailed figures. The um, the articulation is new to McFarlane though. Like they they most of their figures back in the '90s were like almost statuesque. Mm -hmm. Like they they could you you pose them and they all had one pose. Yeah. Um, these guys are definitely. Uh, Bringing the articulation game, um, uh, his okay, yeah, his legs are kind of stiff to move, but uh, but that's okay. We'll figure that out later. Um, but I dig this man. This is a, a super cool Mortal Kombat spawn figure. Um, his cape is all textured. His body is all textured. Um, he's even got some like '90s pouches on the leg. Yeah, like some. You know, 90s style action is that sculpted heroes. On? Uh, that is sculpted on, yeah. That's good. It, it, you know, it may not be actually sculpted on because it looks oh. like it's it's on there. Like it's maybe glued. It's glued on, but there's definitely seems like there's some kind of like a, a cut in for it to go on the leg. So like Yeah, I don't know. But it's cool. Um, the chains like they even went so far as to detail the chains on his back under his cape, like There's he's a got whole skull, the, like a whole skull, wow. and like the little, uh, you know, and the booty. barbed wire, and and yeah, look, like can't forget Spawn, spawn booty. has got like a straight up booty, like yeah. Michael Jai White working like, on those glutes. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, um, but yeah. McFarlane Toys, and I believe this one is a, uh, a variant. I don't know if it's like a specific store variant like Target or Walmart, but uh, but yeah, this one I believe was the variant. Awesome. Well, I've got the other Spawn guy who is basically the same. He just, like you said, has a different weapon. He's also in there. Oh, he's also in the mirror. Yes. The game came out of that. Different weapon. Well, if he's the same, let's just. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty much the same figure. Same guy. Okay, different so they, weapon. they just gave him a different weapon. So, yeah. you know, for you. Your weapon of choice. Completists out there, you can go buy the other one, or you can just have yeah. one of each. Whatever you, you want to do. Here, let's take, let's take this one. Bat. Tell us what you think of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, okay, so this time he's got what looks like a spiky bat. Uh, <laughs> he can hit you with this and you are not coming back, friend. But it's got a little skull on top with the green glowing eyes. Of course, signature to spawn. Cool. He grasps it in his claw hand. He's just got like a creepy gray hand with pointy claws. I love it. It's great. <laughs> so friendly. Perfect for handshakes and high fives. Yes. Yes. I, I really do love this detail. I also like that the chains around his waist are so like rubbery, mm -hmm. like movable. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting them to be like a hard plastic, but I like this. I, I like all this armor he has on, on his arms. And on his one leg, <laughs> he's got one leg with this huge armor and one leg with a little bit because... And a sock. Hey, yeah, and just a and sock. Just one's a sock, sock, one's a shoe, okay? <laughs> and it, it seems like he's barefoot. <laughs> like, are these his toes? What is this? Yeah, I don't know. There's it's, so many lines. It's like lines. floppy sock. If that's his foot... He's got a floppy sock. I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> He looks really awesome. His face looks like 
Oh man, you know what it looks like? What? It looks like a Dementor on um, Harry Potter. It looks like uh, a okay. piece of fabric is like over his face and he's just like, <gasps> yeah. like it's sucked up against him, like vacuum sealed to like a skull, not to like an actual face, but to, <laughs> right. to a skull. So it's a little creepy, very spawn. I'm loving it. I like it. Yeah. And this weapon is cool. I dig it. I like that X too. Yeah. I don't know which one I, I like better. I don't. I, I don't see really any difference to the figures. No. Other than the the extra uh, weapon. I mean they. Yeah, they I, seem both same. So I mean, even still, like, kudos on the quality control because these, like, I can't tell a difference. Yeah. So normally like, you can like one eye is wonky or something. Yeah. One of them has a weird paint job. No, they're yeah. like. Yeah, spot they're, on. They are both twinsies. Ones. Yeah, for real. So, kudos like on, on the Spider-Man, like, which one is which? McFarlane quality <laughs> control. Yeah, yeah, Spider-Man's, like, looking this way on one figure, and, like, <laughs> but, uh, huh? but, yeah. What? That's actually how you should pose them in your display case. And I like that they come with these stands, too. Like, not a lot of figures yeah. come with stands anymore, and I hate that because, like, Try standing up some figures. Like, I mean, I know you guys watch these wealthy. episodes, and you see, like, at the very end of the episode, I have, like, the closing shots of all the figures. Man, there's, like, ten minutes of me spending time trying to stand those guys just perfectly. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, like, if they just had stands, that would be super cool. Like, Marvel figures come with stands back in the day. In fact, they were super detailed, like rock walls and like yeah. dead sentinel heads and stuff like that. <laughs> it was super cool. And then they just were like, oh no, we're just going to give you guys less and uh, you'll be fine. And we'll charge you more for it. Whatever. Yeah. They used you'll to come with it. comic books. They used to come with all kinds of cool stuff. I like these ones too because it also says what they're from. Like this one says Mortal Kombat on yeah. it. And I think that's awesome. And they work really well. They're very easy to use. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh, that's what's up. All right. All right. So our last figure is uh, Baraka, and this says uh, Baraka is a Tarkatan beefcake. <laughs> like what I'm not. Like, like I'm not even kidding, guys. Like that literally says <laughs> beefcake. What does it say? Anything like weird on? Oh uh, my god. Katana's package. Let's see who Katana is. Like Spawn, obviously. Adenian blue. Adenian blue. I don't know what that means. But it's definitely not as cool as Beefcake. <laughs> He's not Beefcake. Um, Alright, so... And I don't know why the Spawn figures were like glued in the packages and these ones weren't. But that's okay, because that just makes it easier for me to yoink him out of here. Right. Uh, Baraka is... Ooh. Clearly... Um, He's a scary man. A... A scary Beefcake. Scary Beefcake kind of a guy. Um, he has got uh, sculpted everything. Um, I mean, they don't they don't skimp on these sculptures they in don't. any way. It's not just like a paint job to make things look like they sculpt every last piece of this. So uh, he's got his little bone knives on the side, and you know the the wrist wraps are all sculpted. The little spikes on the arms. Um, again, 22 points of articulation. He's got the same kind of leg joints inside that Spawn had. Um, Those joints really are very different. So this is cool. So, like, if you look, he's got on these little short, like, uh, little Fontelroy pants. I love them. And uh, the legs kind of come out from the inside. So, like, that's where the spin joint on the legs is. And so you can't see... The leg joints and the, i dig that like you you know normally on all the figures we look at they have like these big wonky joints mm -hmm. with like pins in them and you can see them these are like well hidden and they're well hidden by the clothes um i would have really liked to see his mouth open um, i wouldn't but, i mean <laughs> I know you're scared of this guy. Like, eh. He's so scary. Um, now, he comes with a brain. And not only is it a brain, but the brain has a hole in it. So you can put it on like the end of his little thing. Because I guess maybe that's one of his finishing moves. Stabs your brain. Like he stabs your brain right out, right out and just yanks it. 
clean too. Um, like it's just a clean yeah, brain. This is just a cool figure, guys. Like I dig this. Um, I know that these are pretty new. Like if they're not in stores already, they're about to be. Like we definitely requested something you guys haven't seen yet. Um, by the time you see this, they may already be in stores. You may already all have them, and you're just like, yeah, screw those guys. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I mean this is uh this is super cool. Like they even sculpted like his what his are abs, they right? like those what are those lower abs that everybody has obliques. that like kind of obliques? Yeah. And like they even sculpted that. Like I can't even get what well, we used to call the like, usher line. Look down his pants. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> look down his pants. <laughs> He's so scary. I don't want to see anything. I mean, <laughs> he's got some obliques, man. Like, dude's like ripped. He does. He does. So he's ripped, but he's also um, fully disgusted. <laughs> yeah, he's got like rock out action. He's got side to side rock out. Oh, he's yeah. got like around the world rock Three out. Sixty. Three different rock outs. Um, the shoulders. Look, I, I like this. Like. When you pull the, the arms forward for like the shoulder yeah. articulation, um, there's like a little piece that comes out like that kind of covers the uh, the joint. The joint, and I know like a couple of the Marvel figures, they were starting to do that, but they looked bulky and weird. Yeah. These are actually wow. sculpted. Like the the ones on the Marvel figures were like just like a just a solid piece of plastic. Piece yeah. Of plastic. And then these are just like sculpted to look yeah. kind of like his the same back line. muscles. Yeah. yeah. I dig that. Wow. So, and then cool brain action. Like, I don't know of any other figures that came with like an impaled brain. Never. Yeah. <laughs> never had one. I've never seen but, such a thing. Um, again, these are seven inch figures, so they will totally dominate your, your Marvel uh, or Star Wars guys. And um, haunt you in the night. And haunt you so. in the night. Probably Rocket is a big chicken. <laughs> I keep saying your name. I know. But Shh. it's okay. Shh. We don't want people to know. Um, like he's even got like stitching. Like his pants are stitched on his Lord Fauntleroy pants. Um, he's a seamstress. Uh, yes, he's a, seam he's a cosplayer. I like him a little better. Yes. Okay. But uh, yeah. There's Baraka, the uh, tar. The how can you say like how does that pronounce tar? Tarkatan, 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 Tarkatan. Say it with me, kids. Tarkatan. Beefcake. Beefcake. <laughs> so, all right. Well, do you have anything to plug this week? Yes, you guys can find me at Charlie Rocket Cosplay on any social media platform. And you can find us at www.the-variant.com, uh, facebook.com slash variant covers, and at the underscore variant underscore on uh, Instagram and Twitter, and the variant on YouTube. So check us out, click subscribe. Thanks for checking us out. Thank you, a huge shout out, and thank you to McFarland Toys for yes. providing us with these super cool Mortal Kombat figures. And we will see you guys next week.